Hello, nice people. Today we're gonna look at a custom shop book 110. Also, I got an update on the knife I did last week. This one right here. A guy from Rasputin Castle. If y'all know his site, and y'all can go check him out. He knows a lot about trades and the history of trades. And according to him, the 1991 shred had geese on the side of it, and that this really is a 1982. According to him, some kind of the boxes got crossed up. I don't know. I didn't buy this knife. Mr. Tony didn't buy this knife. So that's possible. I did buy a knife one time, and I got the wrong box to it, so that can happen. All I know is this is a bad to the bone knife, and I got it from a bad to the bone man. But today we're gonna we're gonna talk about this one today. Okay, let's look at this knife here. This is a custom shop buck 110 I had made a couple years ago uh, for a retirement gift to myself. And we'll go over that in a backstory here in just a second. First, let's talk about the construction of this knife and how it's built and the decisions I made on how to, how, what I wanted. And then let's talk about um, the backstory. I'm not going to talk about the history of the 110 or the dimensions and weight and all that kind of stuff. There's thousands of reviews on here about the book 110. And also, if you're interested in stuff like that, history and, and everything, the best place to go is to the horse's mouth. Go to bookknives.com and the little lines in the top left on the home page, click that and then a menu will come up and click journal and on journal click book knives history and there's hours of reading on there about how the company got started uh, about this knife here how it got started it's a lot of reading if you're interested in the history okay let's talk about this knife here i wanted to get a knife for my retirement that was um, symbolized a, a work knife, a uh, tough knife, a classic knife. And I didn't have a book 110 and I've always wanted one. So that's what I got. Uh, I ordered this knife from the book factory on the, on the website, uh, custom shop. I got, I wanted one that when somebody seen it, even from a distance, they knew it was not a stock 110. It was, it was a special edition, custom, and that's the reason I wanted it like this. I got nickel silver bolsters. I know they're a little scratched up, but I use this knife. I wear it a lot. And uh, I got nickel silver bolsters instead of brass. I got my first name right here engraved. I got my last name right here engraved. And all of it's in script font, real fancy. Looks good. But I've got it covered up because, you know, the way things are today, I wanna, I wanna keep my name out of it. I got iron wood handles with no pins. Again, I wanted it where you could see it from a distance and you could tell it wouldn't stop. Uh, these ironwood scales, if you spend over 30 years at a physically demanding job, I think ironwood is very appropriate. With the name with the name iron in it, I think it's very appropriate. Okay, let's look at the blade. I got the mirror polished blade Sometimes I kind of wish I'd got to satin, but to go with the nickel bolsters, 
I thought the mirror polish would uh, would do real well. I think it has, but this thing is bright. I'm telling you, it's signal mirror bright. I mean, you could you could flag down Delta jets with this thing. Uh, but you know, I, I I like it. It's got the 30 years script on here. But we'll talk about that in a minute. In the backstory. Let's zoom in right here on this edge. I want to show y'all this edge. This is the sharpest knife I've ever got out of the box. Look at that point. This got the keenest, sharpest point on it of any knife I've ever bought. Every who Buck's got in the factory there doing their edge grind on their custom knives. Man, you, you're a professional. You can do your job, I'm telling you. I give you a high five if you here. I mean, I, I ain't got, I ain't got nothing that compares to that point or that edge grind. Now I didn't go for a super steel. I got the regular 428C that they offer, but that's all right. I'm happy with this one. Okay. I don't slam her down. I mean, I, I take care with this knife. It costs a lot of money. But I saved up for it for years to get it. But uh, it came with this sheath right here. And it gave me a choice of a sheath like this. Or it had a zipper sheath, like you put eyeglasses in. But I got this one to be more of a Nostalgia classic, you know. Goes right in, wear it on your hip. Just like bringing back the 80s. Okay. Most of the time, though, I wear it on this, this right here. I bought this off of Amazon. It, uh, you wear it on your belt like so. And a cross draw, I wear it on my right side. And I wear it like that with my last name showing here. Looks pretty snappy. Uh, when I want her to feel really bad, I'll put my hand on it like that, like I got my hand on the heel of a single action coat, you know. <laughs> but that's the way I wear it most of the time when we go out. This is one of them going out knives, going out on the town knives I was talking about. I got four or five that I like to use as man jewelry, and this is one of them. Okay, let, let's talk about this backstory here. All right, I started at my work in 1985, and I work at a union job, Teamsters. And to get full time, you had to work part time. Uh, they promoted you to full time by your part time seniority. So I stayed seven years loading trucks part time. A lot of people worked with me, came and went. Um, I stuck it out because I knew once I got full time, I'd be making good money for my education. So. I stuck it out in 1992, I went full time. And I, I was raising a family and everything and working and working. And then it come 2022 started coming up, 30 years. And I said all them years, I'm quitting when I get 30. I'm quitting when I get 30. Well, some of you older guys watching this, y'all know what I'm talking about. 30 years came and life kind of throws you a curveball and sometimes 
you don't get to do what you want to do. You have to do what's best for the people that depended on you. So I'm still working there. I'm working on my 32nd year, part-time and all, 39 years. I'm still there. And I'm thinking about going pretty soon. And when I do, I'm just going to have to get me another knife and put the right ears on it. That's the way I see it. Wait, how y'all see it? Mm -hmm. Maybe a buck 112 this time, a little smaller. Thank y'all for watching this video. I appreciate it. Uh, before we go, let me get this out in the sun here and show you this ironwood handle. Y'all see them? They nice. Okay. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for looking at this knife of mine. Uh, if y'all like this video, please give me a like. Uh, give me a subscribe to Driver38 and my videos will be easier to find. Please leave a comment. I want to hear it from y'all.